you've been through Why you got scars Since you walked through the door I've been trying to reach you Cause I feel you What's the story to tell? What's the story behind? The mountain you're trying to climb Think of her What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel or if you're brand new here, what's up? I am Jen. I share all things health and wellness here on the channel. Anything I do to level up my own life, I share with you guys in hopes to inspire and motivate you to do the same. So if that sounds like your jam, make sure to subscribe before we jump into today's video. All right guys, as you can see, we have another meal prep video coming at you. Absolutely loved this week's meal prep. Everything turned out amazing. Definitely I'm going to be throwing it back in the meal prep rotation. This week I prepped up some breakfast goodies, lunch goodies, snacks, dessert, all the things. I also included my declutter and organization for my fridge and my freezer. You guys seem to really be loving when I share me organizing my spaces. It seems to motivate and inspire you guys to tackle some spots in your own home and I absolutely love that. I love when you guys share it with me on Instagram, seeing your pictures and all of that. I absolutely love it. So I wanted to go ahead and include that in this video also and make room for all my meal prep that would be going in. And I tackled it and I always feel 100 times better when it's done. So without further ado let's go ahead and jump into the video okay so you guys seem to be liking my decluttering and reorganizing of my kitchen spaces and here is another absolutely nightmare space that I have just let get completely out of control and it happens it's been some months since I tackled this baby and once it starts to get away from you it just like goes downhill quickly just like every other space in the kitchen and as our eating changes and we find new products and stuff a lot of this stuff we are not even consuming anymore so It'll just be better to get it out of the way and just keep what we are absolutely using. So this is what we're working with before. Now we'll pull all this stuff out, go through it, get it all cleaned up and put back in here. I'm somewhere in the middle Try to find myself again But life is one big riddle All the future and what's been Cause it's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I am leaving all the bad stuff well, it's not as bad as my pantry clean out. It's only half the kitchen. And most of this stuff is still good and stuff that we use all the time. I really just need to clean off the shelves and reorganize it and put it back in how our working systems were before it got a little bit crazy. So I'm gonna go through all of this now and wipe the fridge down and then we'll get it all put back in there and organized. Well, this wasn't as bad as I thought. I went through, got everything out that we don't use anymore or outdated. You know how stuff just gets pushed to the back sometimes. The refrigerator shelves weren't bad because anytime I see them like getting gross, I'll pull the stuff out and wipe the shelf off. I won't do it to the entire fridge at once, but I'll do it to each shelf ever so often. So they weren't super bad. The door, on the other hand, I don't always pull that stuff out and wipe down. So that definitely needed a good scrub but I love having everything organized and in its place and clean. It just feels so much better for my brain. Uh, a lot of this fruit and veggies on this shelf, I'm going to be prepping up and so then I'll have room for my meal prep containers. This drawer here is for the kids, so I always keep their stuff in there and then produce, of course, down there. So everybody knows where everything is and it's all organized and looking beautiful. Same over here. Have all the fruit and bread and stuff up top and then the kids shelf there in the middle. 
Then that, these bottom two baskets pull out, which I absolutely love, and I have protein all on the top one and veggies all on the bottom one. Makes it all super simple when I'm looking for stuff to meal plan and all of that. So, so glad I got this done. Now for meal prep. First up for meal prep is gonna be some egg salad. I am cooking the eggs in my air fryer. I've shown this on my last couple meal prep videos, but I put it at 250 for about 17, 18 minutes, and that has been perfect so far. Just throw the aluminum foil down in there so they don't roll around everywhere, but I'm gonna get these cooked up and then we'll whip up the eggs. They're done in the air fryer. I have seven of them in this bowl here. I'm getting ready to use this little masher thing. That's the easiest thing to break it up when make an egg salad or just like a whisk or something. But to it, I am adding 30 grams of finely chopped red onion, some light mayonnaise, dill relish, organic garlic pepper, some celery seeds, and I'm also gonna add a few drops of this 100% monk fruit extract. I like to do that since I'm using dill relish instead of sweet relish. I like to add a little bit of sweetness to it, my egg salad, my tuna salad, all of that. So I love the monk fruit extract for that. But I'm gonna go ahead and get all of this mixed up and then I will tell you the exact macros per serving when I'm done. I'm also going to add some of this organic Dijon mustard. I normally add regular mustard to it, but I saw this and just felt like being a little extra, so I'm going to add a tad of this in there also. Next up is going to be some tuna protein pasta. This is pretty similar to my chicken protein pasta that I posted in a meal prep video two or three weeks back now. If you didn't see it, go check that one out. But this one is pretty similar. I am just doing tuna pretty much instead of chicken. I think everything else is pretty much the same. I'm using some of this light mayonnaise, some of the Bonza Rotini pasta. Absolutely love this stuff. I already have it cooked here in the bowl, ready to go. I have 158 grams of frozen peas here. I'm gonna be adding some organic garlic pepper, some celery seeds, monk fruit extract, three cans of the chunk light tuna, and three cans of the solid white albacore tuna, one container of the 0% Faye yogurt just to up the protein game, and then some finely chopped red onions. Going to mix all of this up together, and of course at the end I'll let you know the macro. Next up is my protein breakfast casserole. This is going to take place of my Vital Farms egg bites that I have been eating for breakfast every week. This is going to be a better option, just cheaper, higher protein, actually better macros. So it'll take some time putting it together now, but it'll still be easy and convenient through the week because it will already be prepped and it will definitely save me money. And like I said, it has better macros also, which I still love those for convenience, but they do get pricey. So just a little prep time here and it will set me up for the week. So I am using one pound of the Good and Gather All Natural Turkey Sausage. I already have it browned up and in my casserole dish here. To it, I'm going to add some red onions. I have seven whole eggs here, and then I'm gonna add a couple hundred grams of egg whites just to save on calories, but up the protein. Have parsley, of course the Badia Complete Seasoning because I add that in everything. Half a cup of almond milk, and then probably two cups or so of this fresh spinach. You guys know I like to freeze these and then crumble it up. Makes it super easy to add into recipes. I'm just gonna mix all of this this up together and put it in the casserole dish throw it in the oven which I have already preheated at 350 probably about 35 to 45 minutes I'll check it around 35 I am also going to be adding one of these good culture cottage cheese just to up the protein game a little bit as well as to make it nice and creamy and I forgot to show you guys that okay so I've mixed up the cottage cheese the onions the spinach and the ground turkey all in the casserole dish together I have it well combined and now the I beat the eggs with the egg whites and the almond milk. I ended up adding 256 grams of the egg whites, the half a cup of almond milk, beat all of that together. Now I'm going to put it in here and mix this all up together and then I'm going to throw this in the oven.
Next up, we are making a cinnamon swirl protein bread. I got this recipe off of Emily Fursella's Instagram. She posted a picture of the recipe and instructions. I will link her Instagram account down below. I don't know if she still has it up there, but I'll insert screenshots as well. But I have a cup and a half of oat flour here. I just used some of the old fashioned rolled oats and I just blended it in my Nutribullet and made my own oat flour here. I have one cup of unsweetened almond milk. Her recipe calls for three quarters of a cup of the vanilla ice cream first form protein powder. I don't have any first form protein powder right now. I have some of this PE science, so that's what I'm gonna use, and I'm doing three fourths of a cup, and hopefully it works fine. We need a tablespoon of baking powder, some ground cinnamon, um, I'm using almond extract. She doesn't call for that, but I want to throw a little bit in there because I thought it would just give it a little something extra. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that in there. A half a teaspoon of salt. And then it calls for three quarters of a cup plus two tablespoons of whatever calorie-free white sugar substitute that you have. I actually have pure and I have swerve here. So I'm going to be using a mixture of both. I only had a half a cup of the swerve left, so I'm going to be using a little bit of the pure powdered sugar as well. I have an 8 by 8 pan here that I just lined with parchment paper, sprayed it with some avocado oil. Now I'm going to start mixing everything up and get it assembled. Oh yeah, I'm also using two egg whites. I have my little egg white separator here and then also also a third cup of unsweetened applesauce. So I have my dry ingredients here, all my wet ingredients in here, and then I reserved a little bit of the pure out and the cinnamon, put that to the side, mix it together, that will be the topping. Now I'm going to mix these two together, incorporate them really good, and then I'm gonna put half of the mixture in the pan, sprinkle a little bit of the cinnamon mixture in the middle, then top the rest on top. Absolutely amazing does this look guys and it smells even better than it looks. I'm going to throw it in the oven which I have preheated at 350 degrees. I'm going to pull the breakfast casserole out and then pop this in and it says 25 to 28 minutes. So at about the 25 mark I'll check it and see. Okay, so it's a little loud now. Family is home, but I just pulled this baby out of the oven and it is perfect. Nice and crispy like I like. I'm just going to let that chill for a minute and I have the cinnamon swirl protein bread in the oven. I wish you guys could smell this breakfast casserole. I know it's going to be the bomb.com. It has deflated a little bit, which is completely normal. Just letting it cool before I pop the lid on. And I did right at the end of it baking, decided to throw some of this fat-free mild cheddar cheese right on top. I did one serving. This is out of the oven and looking and smelling absolutely delicious. I'm going to cut it. I've let it cool now for probably about 10 or 15 minutes. So I'm going to cut into it and I will let you guys know how it is. But it looks and smells so delicious. And the last order of business for meal prep this week is just simply going to be washing and prepping all my veggies for the week. Some of this will be for lunches, like snacking on cucumbers and stuff and some will be for dinners. Either way, it's gonna set me up for success for the week, so we're gonna go ahead and get these all washed and chopped.
Okay, we have all the meal prep goodies ready to rock and roll. This is actually the next day after I made a couple of these because it got later at night. Because I have to film it, it takes a lot longer than if you're just regularly meal prepping at home. So I had to finish a couple things this morning, but we have everything ready. As you can see, already tore into the breakfast casserole. It was 10 out of 10. Delish. Macros are awesome on it. I would have already inserted the macros after each one of these so you guys can screenshot those. That way it makes it easy. But we have the egg set salad, the tuna pasta salad, bunch of onions, one already pre-done for dinner for Philly cheesesteak night, and then one just to have prepped for the week. Same with the cucumbers and the peppers. I have one cut up and ready to go for dinner, and then another just for snacking through the week. And cucumbers, these I'm getting ready to have today, and those will be for the rest of the week. The cinnamon swirl protein bread is literally 20 out of 10. I'm fighting to keep the family out of this one. It is delicious. And I have a couple other ideas that I'm gonna switch some things up to do some different flavors because it's just that good and I want to try out a couple other things but absolutely loving that and I'm so thankful that I have all this prepped and ready to rock and roll for the week. Alright guys and that's a wrap for another meal prep video. Let me know if you guys try any of this stuff out and if you do if you absolutely love it I'll tell you that cinnamon swirl protein bread like 20 out of 10. I'm definitely going to be making that again. I'm even going to be changing a few things up just playing with the flavors so I'm excited for that it is like next level delicious everybody in the house like I can't keep their hands out of it they absolutely loved it the tuna pasta salad definitely a hit everything was amazing I will be making it again I have a couple other fun things that I'm going to be prepping up next week as well and I will be filming that for you guys as well you guys seem to really like these videos and like getting ideas for your own meal prep and as usual if you guys have any new things that you have absolutely been loving make sure to pop it in the comments below so that I can try them out so everybody else can see them and we can all level up on our health journey together and include delicious fun foods that keep us on track and keep us heading towards our goals so if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to give it a thumbs up that definitely helps me out and I appreciate it more than you guys know hit me up over on Instagram at in with Jen and if you aren't already subscribed I would absolutely love it if you would become part of the YouTube fam here so make sure to hit that subscribe button and click your notifications that way you won't miss out on any videos as I post them and as always I appreciate you guys watching so very much and I will catch y'all in the next video.